Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 3.11 for workgroups with, with the drivers through Virtual PC. So you click New, click Next, <coughs> create a virtual machine, type in Windows 3.11 for workgroups. Let's just type it like this. Leave that as is, and we're going to want to create a new virtual hard disk make a 4 gigabyte partition, click next, and click finish. Now I can start it. Go to go to CD, capture ISO, I believe it's CD from the torrent. So let's go computer. And let's go to C colon users me downloads. Looks like it's a floppy disk, so let's go floppy. Capture disk image. Let's get this, so let's go back to. Let's go back to downloads. Let's go back to Windows 3.11. Go to step 4. Let's put in disk 1. So now it's starting up. We can minimize that. Boot the virtual. Oh wait, no, 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 it's working. And hardware virtualization is enabled. That's gonna be fine. Might have to disable it though. But okay, so we're gonna install MS DOS 6.22. So we click Enter. Uh, let's go Enter. Configure the unallocated disk space. 3.11. Type in DIR. Yep. So now we go back to a colon. Go. Copy. I believe it's copy asterisk period asterisk C colon dot slash setup 311. This is how you do it. Yep. And what it does is it copies all the fl floppy disk files. Now you do the same with all the floppies. It's, it's faster than selling off the hard drive this way. So now you go back. Now you type in DIR the next floppy, just to make sure it's working. Through. Now we type in copy asterisk period. You type in the same thing. All right, let's just wait. This might take a while. Uh, nope. All right, so it's gonna copy all the files. You just let it copy all the files. Then we'll be on our way afterward. Okay. Floppy, let's do the same thing with the next floppy. Disk 3. This is the old way of doing it. This is the better way, I think. Okay, so now that's in there too. Now we do the same thing with the next disk. We're gonna release this. We're gonna get to the four. Same thing. It's possible. Oh, you can't paste it. All right. So now we're gonna just copy all of that in, and we're gonna go to the next floppy, to disk five. That's just three dash to see from that slash. No, 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 no. I want to escape that. Oh no, I messed up. Okay. I was supposed to copy that to set 31 off. I mean, 311, I'll fix it though. Okay. CD set up 311. Okay. Alright. 
go to A colon. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna copy the disk. Copy it to the wrong spot, obviously. And now we're gonna be okay. It was disk five. Now I need to do the next one. If only I could do multiples, that would be cool. All right, it's gonna work. So that's what you do. This is the MS DOS way of doing it before right click and before a, sh a, a graphical user interface. You need to, this is the fastest way to install actually Windows 3.11. And uh, I did six, so now seven. Copy it, asterisk three asterisk C phone index of three eleven. I say three eleven because it's Windows 3.11. You could do set three one back for th three eleven to Windows 3.11. And let's go to the next floppy image, disk eight. Copy asterisk period asterisk C colon that's set up 311. Once we're done with this, we can install it right from the hard drive. Well, the virtual hard drive at least. Alright. It's work. It's working. Now let's go C colon. Type in setup. Let's go e enter. Let's do custom. That's good. Yeah, I would say change the display. So go there. And as you can see, it's working just fine. And I have to CD set up three eleven. We mess something up in setup. Enter. Enter. Let's just do the express. It's the fastest one. Let's go. Enter. Let's just continue. This will be okay. Yeah, I recommend doing.